Hello, it's Sarah. Happy March, you guys. It's been a while, and I wanted to share with you what I've been up to. I've certainly been in the craft room, and those of you who like my polymer clay videos, attention. Um, I've been working with Epoxy Sculpt lately. It's a modeling compound that I got familiar with through watching uh, mosaic videos. So I've been working doing mosaics, you know, regular old. I'm going to grab my, I want to grab my, uh, this guy, my unicorn. Um, but I've taken a class, mixed media mosaics, because I love different textures and and I love the look of mixed media as well and epoxy sculpt is used as a way to add smaller details to your uh, mosaics now I haven't incorporated that into my mosaics yet but what I've done is created my own little mini mosaics using it because it's like a clay it's a two-part compound this is, I just ordered this from Amazon, but what really got me started was Christy Friesen. And those of you who've watched me for a while know that I've, I started, uh, one of my very big inspirations for polymer clay was Christy Friesen. This book is called Steampunkery, and I've made a lot of the things in here. They're over there on my desk. Um, but she's a clay sculptor, and she embeds things in the clay as well um, <clears throat> I think and then I I mean I've watched her evolve too as an artist and I saw some videos from her on fire mountain beads and she was taking beads and embedding them in the clay so anyway on her uh, I'll put it in the description box but on her channel she has a tutorial for this little butterfly which I'm not thrilled with this was the first time I worked with epoxy sculpt I ordered two kits from her uh, her, her website I don't want to zoom in too close but this was a pretty basic tutorial um, she had you make the you know make the body and then kind of sculpt the four wings and I didn't love how it turned out you know and it got kind of squishy it was my I hadn't played with clay in so long um, but then we embedded things in it and I just used stuff from my stash and I bought a kit from her and I'll show you the kits in a minute um, these I really love now the difference between epoxy sculpt like I said which is a two-part compound that it dries like a rock like it's cement but while it's workable, once you do the chemical reaction, you take part A and part B and you combine them, it becomes a adhesive, so it's sticky, like, a, like you can roll it and form it into shapes, but then in 24 hours, it'll hard, harden completely, so you don't have to bake it, you don't have to do anything to it, and it really does act very similar to polymer clay. So that's why I said attention polymer clay artist. So let me share with you what I got from Christie's website real quick. Now, when you're working with it initially, you need to wear gloves. Well, it's suggested that you wear gloves because it is a chemical comp uh, com um, chemical reaction that's happening when you combine parts A and part B. So she sends you a pair of gloves. Um, this is a wax pencil so that you can pick up little beads and things. And I don't know what the um, like Q-tippy looking things were for. Uh, these are mine. These are mine. Um, I've been using this stuff so it got combined. Now I ordered this kit specifically for Turtle Time, which was a class that she was teaching on a Facebook page. Um, all of this information is on her website and she has a Facebook she has a YouTube, which just go to her YouTube because all of the things that I'm talking about are on her YouTube. After she go, I did a live with her to do this turtle. Um, and this was, this is mine. These are um, for nail art, but they're micro beads and I have other micro beads. But she sent me these gorgeous bezel gems, like, you know, or not like little, I don't know why I'm saying bezel, but they're just gems. They're not hot fix because they're um, they have a dimensional backing anyway. And that's the other thing with epoxy sculpt, you can use things that aren't flat. So in mosaics, you generally I use um, 
weld bond which is just a really strong white glue and it if something has a bent like a curvy back you can't really stick it down with a white glue so having the epoxy sculpt you can just embed it into it and it sticks this is glass glitter this was in the turtle time kit um these were not in the turtle time kit anyway some of the stuff was in the what did she call it i ordered this the epoxy clay mosaic assemblage starter kit so you get the epoxy clay this is i'm all out of it that's why i had to order the bigger one the epoxy clay two part now i made about four projects from this much epoxy sculpt um she sent this little silicone uh, work mat just a piece of one and I'm thinking of ordering one just because epoxy sculpt won't stick to plastic so you need to use either a baggie when you're working because it will stick and it'll harden on it and it'll be stuck there forever <laughs> so she sent that the gloves the pencil the pickup pencil and the tweezers I really love the tweezers I have everything in here this was these really helped me a lot when I was I'll show you the projects in a sec um, and then an embellishment sampler. So I got some head pins, um, metal mix of components, gold plated glass square beads. So these guys, these are super cute. This was in the turtle time kit. This is glass glitter. So it sticks into the clay. This is just a mixture of all different beads, different kinds of beads, Swarovski crystals, regular beads, things like that. Um, and then there's uh, two beads. These are actually pieces of, what are these? Kyanite stone chips, I think. Um, or they could be these, which are, I put them in my big container because I had some. I, I think it's like abalone shell, or maybe it's just shell, but it has that like shiny edge to it. So she sent that for the turtle time. And I think these are a version of it, but they might be dyed blue. No, they're kyanite shell. Anywho, I'll show you what I made. So I did order two kits from her, and it was reasonable, like maybe $16 and $24 for like the more, you know, and you can pick and choose. She sells all of these components, little tubes of things if you want to try it. I added my own components into here after because I'll show you what I made. Um... What else did I want to say? There's also other artists on YouTube that are working with epoxy sculpt. So I wanted to give those guys shout outs too. And I'll put, see, these are the like head pins. They have little balls on the end. So they're super cute for the little butterfly um, antenna. I don't love it, but it's, it's blingy. It's cute. Um, and epoxy sculpt does come in a couple of different colors. I think you can also change the colors like blend it and make it different colors I'm not sure I haven't gotten that far Julie Weilbacher is a very good YouTube channel she has hi Kurt uh, Jenny she has um, let me just pull in um, have I made so she was making ATC's when I was making ATC's um, and she really and she's worked with epoxy sculpt so this is just a mosaic I don't know. I need to figure because I probably could have used epoxy sculpt to put the crown on and it would have built it up more. It would have made it thicker, but I just glued it. So see, I'm, I'm not quite there yet with knowing how to incorporate it into an actual mosaic, but these channels are doing things with it that I need to watch. So Julie Weilbacher is one and then there's one called Mazzoni Mosaics. She is a mosaic artist, and this is what I started doing when I watched her channel. What she did, so instead of forming the piece with the clay itself the way Christy does, because Christy is a sculptor, you know, she has no problem making it out of clay. What, and I don't know her name. I can't think of her name. Mazzoni Mosaics did, and this is episode 86. I'll put a link in the description. She takes a piece of wood, and hers were critters, so bugs. She did a fox, a bear, um, all different um, things, and she made, like, out of jewelry findings, so beads. So I, I found this set at, I think, Hobby Lobby, Little Trolls. So I have two more pieces, 
and I printed it out on the printer so that when I covered it with, um, where is it, right here, when I covered it with clay that I would still be able to see the, the etched marks of ha how to make them. So this is this guy. And I did another one. I'll show you the other one I did. But this one, and then I did use mica powders to kind of, I'll come in. But for his mouth, I just used a, like a small pink tube bead. And then for the mustache, I used smaller tube beads. But I think I should have used bigger, like I figured out things about what, by doing it one time. The other thing is these are little e-beads that are tiny for his hands and his face, which I don't think, I think you should stick with all one size. I'm not sure because I'll show you the other one I did. But this is doing the technique that Mazzoni Mosaics shared. So I just wanted to share that with you. And here's my other one. I made this the other day and he is Ukraine colors because I was thinking about Ukraine and feeling so horrible about what's going on and he's my little memento for that and I I used a bigger red bead for his mouth and a little bit bigger beads for his face I just chose like a brown you know and I put little three little ones for his hands and then I made his shirt blue his sleeves are a different type of bead compared to his shirt so that it kind of looked different and then I just put yellow mica powders all over it. And I used a, um, a mosaic round for his nose. Because I, I tried to make their noses with just um, seed beads and stuff. And it just didn't look right. That really made it look better. But I think this one looks a little better because I used all the same size beads. Like, I don't know if that makes sense. And then I had a little bit of clay left. So I just made a little star with a cookie cutter and just made a little yellow and blue star but because once you met once you make that compound you blend the a and b parts it's going to harden no matter what so you have to kind i just wanted to use up what i um mixed up so here's okay so i made those a la um mazzoni mosaics is, her, is the name of her channel then i took this class with christy and this was on a facebook page that i can't think of the name of it hold on do i have it here i wrote it somewhere i don't know and it was so it was live so i signed up for it i ordered the kit and it was live and then so she talked a little bit about epoxy sculpt and why she likes it and then she took us through this little turtle it's a sea turtle now she lives on maui in hawaii in the hawaiian islands and see here's those little the shells and this is a shell um the green beads were part of the kit his little flippers have that um the glass glitter embedded she sent little eyeballs um and what else mica powder so uh and this was the i actually think she used black clay and i got my clays mixed up because i ordered two different kits so the other turtle that i did on my own after that i used the black clay and i just i was going to make them steampunk but then this is one of the gems that she sent in her um in the big kit where are you going oh hi uh, and I, these, I think, were all in my stash. The rest of it, I used the, like I told you, the, um, this, they're not seed beads. They're the ti micro beads on his flippers. I, I tried to put a little bit of the um, glass glitter, but I think the micro beads kind of took it up. And then I did his eyes with a pin, and I stuck the pin in, a little black bead, but I ended up taking the pin out. It, he just looked weird. But I think he's so cute with all those different... And this was just like one strand of uh, flower beads that I used. So, I mean, all in all, he didn't cost very much to make. And, I mean, he's hard as a rock. Like, I'm not going to try and break his flipper, but he's hard as a rock. Like, hard. I don't want to try and break them. So, so you can kind of see how you form them. But Christy will teach you that. She has this video, the tutorial, on her web... I'm sorry, her YouTube channel. I did a video on him, and, and I mean, maybe I'll post it after I already sculpted them because I didn't want to show you how to sculpt them, and I just talked about it, and maybe I'll post it. 
but I had some clay left from both of these so I made a little heart with the same material oops, same materials that I used for the this turtle so he's like see same stuff and then this is the little heart that I made from him it's like a little steam and then I put uh, that's a mica powder that I use and I can't remember the name of it but it's like a blue green but it looks really purpley so um, what else I think that's it that's all I'm gonna come up that's what I wanted to share with you oh there's one other channel her name is B Sue Boutiques and she is using epoxy sculpt in jewelry pieces so she'll take a bezel and fill it with epoxy sculpt and then she just starts putting like I've gone through my stash and I'm finding all my old beads that I've had forever um, and this look I found this little turtle I'm sorry he's a frog he's a steampunk frog that I got at um, Hobby Lobby but like you can embed this into the epoxy sculpt and then make like a little lily pad or something around them or you know whatever you want to do put them in the flowers or put them wherever um, so yeah so that's it basically um, I just wanted to share what I've been up to it is Christy has these little sets on her channel on her I'm sorry on her dot com or dot org her, on her web page but this I got from Amazon and I ended up getting the bronze color so it would be this is black this is bronze black is good but I and let me see I think I used black for him you can't really tell and bronze for him so it's like black and brown and that's the difference I don't know if you can really tell because I put mica powders over it so you can't really tell um, and when you watch the Mazzoni mosaics videos she covers every inch of the wooden piece that she's doing like I have two more I have one more gnome um, she covers every inch of it with beads so you really can't see any of the clay underneath so those of you who love polymer clay have a look and see what they're doing and I think you could probably do a lot of this with polymer clay it's just that I don't have I didn't have to embed these into the clay the way you do with polymer clay and use glue and all that stuff this is just stuck once you get it on there it's stuck so um, I just wanted to share I've been in the craft room um, I think that's it all right you guys thanks for watching